guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here allow me to reintroduce what i do i drop canva tutorials tips and tricks that enable you design better in canva so straight to what i have for you today so i designed this graphic a while ago using canva and i was asked by a lot of people how i achieved this faded effect that's the effect you see on this guy and this so how i did it without the whole cutout showing so in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can achieve faded effect using canva so we are going to be recreating this now let's get into it to add a new page so for this i used lots of gradients patterns gradient patterns and the likes so i am just going to go straight to my elements and i'm going to search for gradient so for the background what i used was a gradient i'm going to do this again So for the background, I used a gradient because I wanted like a two-toned color effect. So that is why I used a gradient. So if you're trying to achieve a two-tone color effect, it is advisable you use a gradient. So I'm going to change this color now. Then I'll leave this as orange. So the next thing I did was to rotate it to 90 degree. Then I filled it up to fit into the screen, that's into the background. Now you see this has a two-toned effect. The next thing I want to do now is to add a pattern. So I'm going to use this pattern. If you want to search for the pattern, for this particular pattern all you need to do is to search for abstract lines background then you get this pattern so i'm just going to increase this to fill up the screen the reason why i like to use patterns is that it just adds a bit of you know spice and texture to your background instead of leaving it as just you know a plain background so i want to change this color to this and this to orange Okay, or better still, let me leave this as white or black. Trying to figure out what I want to use. So I'm going to reduce the transparency of this so it doesn't overshadow the text and all of the graphic I'm trying to create. The next thing now is to add photos. So I'm just going to use one from the recent ones I have used. I'm going to use this one. Then I want to remove the background. If you don't use Canva Pro, it will be difficult for you to get patterns like this. So what you can do is to go to pngtree.com. They have lots of patterns, free patterns for you to use or stickpng.com. You can also get gradients from there, I, I guess so. But I have not tried it out because I use Canva Pro. So everything is almost available to me right here. So while we wait for this to load up, I'm just going to crop this because I just need the hand, the, the upper part to show. So I don't need all of the body. So I'm going to wait for this to load up. It's taking a while. So let's go to the next thing. Now, this is where the whole work is, the whole magic happened. How I removed, how I used the fade effect. So this is how I use the fade effect. Just search for gradient again. When you search for gradients, you go way down and you will see one that has purple and sort of black. So it's fade to transparency, basically. I'm going to show you. So you keep searching, keep going down till you see it. So this is it, right where I have the cursor. This is it. And if you are the one that uses this, you want to continuously use this, what you can do is just add to likes or add to your add to a folder so that for easy access, so the way you want to use it, you don't need to start searching again. You can just go to your likes 
or in your folders and you'll see it right there. So let's click on this. So I'm going to position forward. Okay, it's forward already. Now this is it. I want to rotate it. So this is going to be rotated to 90 degree. Okay, so our image has finished downloading. So what I am now going to do, let me click out, is to change this. So I'm going to change the colors basically. I'm changing this to red and this to orange. So you can have yours anyhow you want it to be. So, okay, let, let us do a switch. Since I have orange at the background, let me change this to orange and the upper part to red. So basically this is it. I am going to increase it and let it fit into the screen. What I am now going to be doing is to be duplicating it until this, this cutout is not visible anymore. So I will keep pressing Ctrl D until I have what I am trying to achieve and the cutout is not so visible. So Ctrl D. So you see, as I click the Ctrl D, you can see it's faded a bit. Ctrl D, you can see it's fading. So we're going to continuously click Ctrl D and also move this around to make sure we are achieving we are close to you know what we are trying to achieve also if you've not subscribed to my channel please do so so you can get lots of amazing tutorials like this i also have a canva for beginners course you can so if you're a beginner to canva you don't know where to start from and you just need the basic knowledge and understanding i have a video i have a course right for you so I will leave the course link below. It's not free, it's a paid course, but it is really affordable. So what I am doing now is just, you know, clicking Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, and moving this up and down, basically trying to make this fade out. As you can see, it is fading out. Now we're getting close. Now this is great. What I just did for that was to move it upward. Ctrl D again. Okay, this is uh, getting there. Also, what I like to do is when I am designing like this, I, you know, bend a bit. I tilt my body a bit and look below, like underneath, to be sure that the cutout is not showing in any way. So if you tilt your system or your phone or whatever, and you bend underneath, make sure the cutout below is not showing, it's not visible. So I'm continuing clicking Ctrl D. Now we can see it is... Voila! This is it. Now the cutout is not showing. It looks seamless, which is exactly what we want. Now the next thing is to add my text. So I'm just going to lock this up so that when I'm adding my text, there is no, you know, sort of change or something, or it does not move around because <laughs> we've done a great job for it to just, you know, go out like that. So I've copied my text from the other text. So I'm just going to click Ctrl V, which is this my text then. I'm going to complete the test investment then changing the color of this to be black and if you notice here you can see that this font here says okay i'm going to go back so you can see it you can see it says multiple fonts now i'm going back to unclick one okay i just wanted this to be more bold so this is it then i am going to size this up like this i think yes this is great for what i want to achieve yes so this looks good going to make sure it is centralized always look at this line to make sure it is centralized so you see we're getting there then what i just did was to search for web so this is just to add you know all of the icons and whatnot so let's just copy this from here so ctrl c and moving it here ctrl v and this is it so you can just copy and paste by just clicking ctrl c and ctrl v ctrl c and ctrl v 
Now that is right, what we have done, and this is it, how to achieve the faded effect. Now I am going to do this one more time so you can you know, have a good feel of it. So this time around, we're not designing anything too serious. So you're going to use a random picture. So let me say woman, I'm just going to search for a woman. Okay, this looks pretty. Let us use this one. So I want to show you clearly how it is. So fill into the background. Yeah, trying to achieve a faded effect on this image. So like I mentioned, you go to effect, you go to elements, then you search for gradient. Then you go all the way down, then cl click on the one that has the fade to transparency, which is this one. As you, as you can see, gradient that fades to transparency. Like I mentioned, you can add to likes, add to folder, so that you don't keep, you know, stressing. So for this, I want to I want it to be white. So I'll just change this one to white. Remember, it has to fade to transparency. So this is it. You can have yours like this, then have like a text at the background, like continue filling it up. So country D, country D, country D. Remember. So country D again, country D. So if you're doing this with your phone, sorry, I forgot to mention, if you're doing this with your phone and you don't have you know, on your phone, you cannot click on 3D. What you should just do is to click on the gradient, then click on this. So you click on this mark, on this plus sign, then it keeps on duplicating. But shortcut to use is to duplicate is Control D. So for this, like I mentioned, you can keep doing that. Let me delete this. So I want to now rotate this. I am just showing you different, you know, things you can also achieve with this. So let me make this 90 degree. So you see, so you can keep on control D, <laughs> like duplicating. I know you understand what I'm trying to say. So, and this is it, faded to transparency. This is so beautiful, so nice. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have comments, you have questions, please leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe. Also, like I mentioned, if you want a beginner to Canva, you want to know, you know, the basic things in Canva, I have a course for you and I'll leave the description link in below. That's I'll leave the description link below. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye for now and do stay safe.